Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we're gonna do something really excited. I'm so excited about it. It is the Gwen Stefani Give line. For those of you who did not have girls growing up in the 90s, let me tell you who Gwen Stefani is and why it isn't just another celebrity makeup launch. Gwen actually was into makeup and worked at a makeup counter before she ever started singing with her first band, No Doubt, from as far back as she can remember. She was a girly girl playing dress up and with makeup. Because of her love of old Hollywood movies and their iconic starlets and her obsession with the 40s, and not just those stars, but the bandana-wearing red-lipped ladies that kept our factories going during the war, Gwen has always adored a red lip, and it's like a stamp with her. It's associated with her, this one particular shade. She did her makeup herself, she did it for others, and she really believes, just like her song with No Doubt, that the magic is in the makeup. Some people may look at this launch and think, what the heck, <laughs> about the choices of the products, but if you are a true Stefani fan, then you get it, and I'm going to show you why you're going to love every single bit of this launch. I am so happy for her that she has her own line. Only Gwen could bring out a line of lipsticks of the same red shade in three different formulas and pull that off and nobody go, where's the other colors? <laughs> because that's what she's known for is this red lip. You want to see me open up everything for the first time give you my first impression, use it for the first time, and then also showing you other lipsticks and how they compare. Well, just keep watching. Okay, so I got the quad in Simple Kind of Life. This is like an everyday kind of neutral palette that we're gonna look at. I haven't opened anything yet, hoping everything's gonna be, because I love Gwen, I really want this to work out. This looks like it has been opened. This is the lipstick and it is in Original Recipe. There's like three versions of the same shade, I think, however you want to wear it. If you want it more matte, you want it to be more glossy, you want it to be a liquid lip. So she's got you covered there. Gwen, to my knowledge, Gwen always wore this one shade of red, this. And she was very secretive about what she was wearing. I got both brow products because I think I would use them together. So I got Hella Point and Most Deaf, which I can't wait to open because it's a really unique applicator. And let's start with this palette. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so it comes in this package that is cardboard so you can recycle it. Look, bandana. Oh my gosh, I'm so smart. I mean, totally unplanned, but appropriate for Gwen. I love that. The whole inside is bandana. Oh, and it says in there, me, you, yours. And there's instructions from Gwen to get her signature, like minimal, blown out kind of look here. Apply to the eyes with a fluffy brush and blend for a soft, diffused look. For more color intensity, press onto the lids with a flat brush. But I was gonna do that anyway. Okay, look. Oh! <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. You just open it up like so. The mirror says, me dot you dot yours. And these are the most bland colors ever, but also the most Gwen Stefani. Maybe if I like this formula, I will also pick it up in, um, the the other one what's it called i don't know i'll have to look it up maybe i'll put it here i want that one too if this is good i think i'll come all over with my e25 with this here i'm like i can do that in this mirror for sure <laughs> i mean i can at least find my eye okay yeah this is like so nude you can't even tell i put that on there for me this is even more undetectable Actually, I wouldn't say that Wet n Wild Brulee is undetectable. Brulee is not this close to my own natural color. But see, it totally just took away all the discoloration on my eyelid. And maybe you just want to do that. Put on some mascara and go. Or you could step it up with these others. That's what I'm going to do. This is going to be a very minimal eye. And that's fine. Let's see what the shade looks like. I can't really tell that that's there over the top of... This is not that much. 
It's darker than this shade, but I think it's still not that detectable here. All right, I think I'll take this one now. Maybe that one in my crease will be better. Yeah, I think that one is gonna be better. Give just the slightest bit. And did I mention this is all matte? This is a total matte palette. A lot of times you guys will ask me about matte eyeshadows. So this is one of the rare palettes that is entirely matte. Where is all of that coming from? They're very powdery shadows. They kick up quite a bit in the pan. Not saying that's a bad thing. I have a lot of palettes that are like that, just, you know. Okay, like that's a barely there, right? What happens if we take our finger and put some of the lightest shade on my lid? Yeah, that intensifies it quite a bit. Just want to lighten up my lid. There we go. And of course we could use a brush, so I'm going to do that right there in the corner. I would say this is like the ultimate in nude. The other palette that I was talking about that I want, um, it would complement this one, I bet. I'm just going to squish this down, come under here. This palette will be ideal for people who are like a little bit afraid of color. They just want something to kind of make their eyes look a little better for the day, but they're not interested in people be like, wow, look at your eyeshadow, <laughs> okay? I'd be totally lying if I said that I wasn't really anxious to try spider webs. And no, I'm not singing that because I don't remember how it goes. But yeah, that's another song. So, wow, this is Lux. This feels like a lot more Lux than a normal pencil you would get. Now this comes in two shades. What is the name of the other one? It's also a song. Um, but I got it in spiderwebs, which is black. And oh my goodness, I didn't see that. Can you see this? When I tell you I can't see, I really can't see. So when I get in the look in the tin by, I can see that I've got a bunch of fallout here from the shadow. Yikes. Let's see how easy this goes away. Oh, well, that just wiped right off. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is uh, a lot of you come on your lid with it. So I'm gonna do that right here in the lash line so we can get a feel for how creamy this is. It's very creamy. I am having no problem. Even on my 60 year old eyes, I'm not having a problem. Now I do realize that my eyelids are not as crepey as a lot of people's at my age. So there's that. But I'm just saying, do you see how this glides? It just glides. Now, I do have enough wrinkles here to tell you if, you know how you, it'll like go over the top of the wrinkles and like leave spots like a jaggy, ruddy road. <laughs> okay, well, it hasn't done that. So you can get pretty thick with this line, I would imagine. I just want it right there. Yeah, that did really good. I bet if you were younger or you're just able at my age to do a wing, I think it'd be really easy to do with this. I'm going to come into my waterline because you guys know that's the important thing to me. Whether or not it goes in the waterline and stays there. So I just, I didn't do my usual thing where I do them both at the same time because we want to see if it's going to transfer. I want to see if that transfers down when I blink. Maybe I will pull it up here just a tiny bit. Doesn't appear to. It didn't appear to transfer down for me. Yay! But does she stay? That's another question. It is redonkulous how long this eyeliner stays. I'm not kidding. It says 24 hour, but you know a lot of things say that and they aren't. It literally could stay 24 hours. I have to take a Q-tip with Bifacil on it to get this stuff off. Let's get the smudger brush here and see if we can smudge that. Does it set too quick? To sp because it set pretty quick or I wouldn't have been able to put it in my waterline without transfer. 
Okay, well, you could do this. This eyeliner sets probably faster than any eyeliner I have, so if you're going to smudge with it, you better really work quick. Which is wonderful for my purposes. Impressed so far. I can pretty much tell when I'm doing my makeup if it's a liner that's going to stay all day because by the time I finish my makeup, it'll be out of the waterline. So a good indicator, I mean, I'll tell you, I'll report back, but a good indicator is if it's still there when I finish my mascara and stuff. I'm just going to kind of... It's definitely a sharpened pencil. Two this eyebrows. This one's hella on point, so that's a thinner micro pencil. And this one is most deaf. And most deaf has a really unusual tip. I wonder if these are just as luxe. Oh yes, these are just as luxe as the eyeliners. Wow. Both have spoolies on the end, but look at this. That's unique. I think we will use most deft first. I'm kind of nervous here. Let's see how creamy this pencil is. Okay, it's not that creamy. So it's gonna be a one you have to really push. Okay, so I'm going to brush down here. You can get hairs with this. You're gonna be farther apart, but You know what? This color might work. See, this is actually like the actual color of my brow, isn't it? It looks like it in the mirror. Under these lights anyway, this looks like the color of my brow. So, you know, the color God said my eyebrows were. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I'm, I'm thrilled about that. Like a lot of times with brow products, I tend to get either too warm, too dark, too light, you know, very rarely can I hit it right on the nose. But I do think that this might be it. I intended to use the most depth for the back of my brows and then the hella point for the front. So let's see how that do. I'm going to take that down a little bit. I'm afraid that's going to break because it's got some drag to it. It's drier and it has more drag. I'm afraid if it's up too high, I'm gonna break it off. One of you told me the other day that I snatched that brow. Did I snatch this brow? That's what, all right, let's go there. Okay, I think I'm a little used to this now, so. Okay, that's. That's good enough for a first time, right? We want to move on to the lipstick. We don't want to spend all day on this. If Gwen is known for anything, it's that red lip, isn't it? Bandana. All right, well, you know she knows there's a lot riding on this lipstick. So this is original recipe. I have it in the matte formula. This is plastic, okay? But it looks very luxe, doesn't it? It's not magnetic. It has a snap closure. It's a tight closure, so that's good. That good? Yeah, that good. All right, um, oh, anticipation building. But first, I just feel like it's not going to look as great as I want it to without mascara, so let me do that. I'll be right back. A red lip is something that I typically like to use a liner for. She doesn't have a liner yet, so maybe we don't need one with this. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, are we ready? Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Let's bring the bullet all the way up so you can see it. Oh, so beautiful. This looks... <gasps> For me at 60, I don't want it to be dry matte, but I want it to be a matte that will stay. Okay, don't be so luxurious and creamy that you're going to go right up in all my lines. So that's why I chose this one. <laughs> That's good coverage, huh? This is a a mat, but it's a very comfortable mat. Uh, now I'm probably going to have to take 
a red liner and come around here uh, to clean this up a little because I, I really suck with concealer doing that. I just make a pink mess when the colors blend. <laughs> uh, but I like the way it feels. Let's take a tissue and blot. Here's a kiss from me to you. Ah. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. <laughs> Too bad, right? <laughs> I made a mess down there. I'm gonna fix that. I'll be right back. If you're wondering about the liner I used, it is the LA Girl in Relentless Red. This might go with me on vacation. I might take this with me on vacation because we're getting ready to go on vacation in, a, in about a month. In fact, I might do a video on what I take. But anyway, so this might be the palette I take. I like that it's just a beautiful, quick, understated and not a surprise, okay? Because Gwen Stefani. If you have a more bold red lip mouth, a lot of ladies just prefer to go more natural and that's what I think this palette is. The pencils I am in love with, I can't promise those won't be holy grail status. The packaging is very luxe, but that isn't why. I don't wanna run it all the way up and see I will look at the comparison of how many grams or, you know, what you get in this compared to some other things I have. For Hella Point, I compared to other retractable fine point pencils, and Hella Point contains the same amount of product as ABH Brow Wiz and Lancome Brow Define, slightly more than Benefit Precisely My Brow, Fenty uh, MVP Brow, and Kosas Brow Pop. There's nothing out there that I know of like most deaf, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but I can't really speak to which one I will decide to buy or if I'm going to buy them both from now on, but I love these. What a freaking surprise this is. This eyeliner. It's still there. Look, it hasn't budged a bit. I don't think it will. I'll report right here if it did, but for crying out loud, I think this is gonna stay. Love. I love, love, love this lipstick. It is matte, but it's not dry. It doesn't feel like it's gonna go. I mean, obviously, it'll transfer. It's lipstick. But look at the payoff. The color payoff on this is unreal. So I've got a bunch of lipsticks here that are reds. I guess I like red a little bit. The camera was not on when I did this. I did all of these live and I think you missed a really spectacular breaking of this lipstick from Sigma and I was able to put it back together again. <laughs> and that is it right there. This one here is called Ecstasy by uh, Sigma. Now this long stretch here is Gwen's lipstick. None of these match the formula. The next one that I tried was um, Laura Mercier. So that's the second one here. La Mercier probably matches it for color the most, but not formula. The third one is Wonder Two's Must Have Mattes, I think. That's the what the lipsticks are called in Game Red. The fourth one, which is a warm red. Okay, that is the Pure Barbie in CEO. Thank you again, Carla. Carla sent me all of, look at that. She sent me all of the Barbie lipsticks and oh, they're so beautiful that I display them. Um, okay, so then this here is Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon, which is also matte, but does not, not this formula. Uh-uh. I, I think I could eat in this. Not positive, but I think I could. Then the bottom two are long combs. So this one here has more brown in it and this is the new Velvet Valentine lipstick in Lucky in Love 121. I'm sorry, I don't think you can get that. Uh, but then this one here, the last one is Caprice. And Caprice is a standard red. It's just slightly more warm than Gwen Stefani's lipstick, but the formula, as you can see, is high shine. It really is a truly unique red to my lipstick collection anyway, and I love it. <laughs> Who doesn't love that? Okay? I do. Okay, I have been scrubbing and scrubbing on my hand to get the red lipstick swatches off the back here. And the one I keep having to go over and over 
is this one, Gwen's lipstick. Okay, I mean, you can still faintly see it after all of that. So yeah, I really think that I probably won't have to reapply this very much at all if, if I do. What do you think? Are you as thrilled about this collection as me? Are you gonna pick up any of it? Have you already picked up any of it? Are you a Gwen Stefani fan? Give me a lamb icon below if you love Gwen Stefani, <laughs> okay? All right then, um, I want you to know you're the best part of the Fritzy family, and if you're not having a blessed day, just go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya, bye. And I'm out. The Claude Simple Quina Light. Simple Quina. Simple Quina. Is it Simple Kinda? Simple, Simple Kind. You know, like her song, Simple Kind of Life. All I want is a simple kind of life. <laughs> These songs just go way too back. Way too back? What the heck? Bathwater's one of her songs. Did you know that? Yeah. Well, back from No Doubt days. Yeah? I don't remember. It goes, uh, dun, 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 something like that. Yeah, but I, but I still love to wash in the old bathwater. Still like to think you couldn't have another. Something like that, but you're my kind of man. Something, I'm not got the tune right. But she did do a song about, you know, bathing in some guy's bathwater. I'm thinking of the album that's got hella good on it, you know? Dun 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 Gosh, it's, I'm reaching, it's been a long time, right? No doubt, no doubt. The waves keeps on crashing. For some reason, dun 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 Can't hit that note. Gwen's not gonna hire me now for tour. Yeah, that works. Why isn't this working very well? And it's the original recipe, okay? I still want chicken. I can't speak. Don't speak. The... Okay, I promise I'm not gonna sing that song too. <laughs> oh my god, my bullet came out. What is happening? I broke my lipstick from Sigma. <laughs> or. It was bananas. B a n a n a s. This is bananas. B a n a n a s. This is bananas. <laughs> That's a Gwen song too.